Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Uh, Vladimir Putin's charm offensive is over. Before the Olympics, he had released some political prisoners uh, and uh, hadn't made any aggressive statements or aggressive actions. But then the Olympics came to a close and uh, the gloves came off. The goodwill is over. Russian troops have taken over Crimea and are threatening eastern Ukraine and uh, uh, Putin declined to take part in uh, talks with the current Ukrainian government. The US and EU have made strong statements criticizing Russia. Sanctions are being considered. But in reality, not much is going to happen. Europe depends on Russia for natural gas, so they won't do much to rock that boat. Not until it gets warmer, anyway. They will not, uh, they've, the G8 meeting that was supposed to be in Sochi, that's pretty much canceled. But Putin really doesn't care about that. There may be some slap on the wrist type sanctions, but the EU will not do anything that would actually hurt Russia because they want the natural gas to keep flowing. Britain and the U.S. could put some pressure on Russia because there's a lot of Russian money in banks in both of those countries. Now the Republicans are making a lot of noise about how this happened because Obama is weak. The fact is that Putin would do the same thing no matter who was in the White House. Uh, George Bush was in the White House when Russia invaded Georgia. And the Russians were obviously not too impressed or worried about Bush. They knew that, uh, for one thing, his uh, record in Iraq and Afghanistan made it clear that he wasn't exactly a military genius. And uh, it's interesting that the Republicans didn't criticize Bush when the troops rolled into Georgia. The fact is, is that our ability to influence Russia is about equal to their ability to influence us. They didn't want us to help topple Gaddafi, but we did it anyway. We don't want to go to war with each other, and unless you're willing to do that, <coughs> there's not much you can do. The real threat may actually be inside Russia. Just as there are a lot of Russians in Ukraine, there are a lot of Ukrainians in Russia. And if Putin pushes too hard there, they might start blowing shit up. Russia has a lot of people already, like the Chechnyans, who want to blow their shit up. They don't need any more people to join that group. And that's the thing nowadays. You can enforce your will with your army, but people don't need armies to come after you. This is something that both Russia and the United States need to keep in mind. Thanks for listening.